You know, we've got a couple new venues for the women. I think they're right up Stephanie's alley with uh, JB, um, Karamas, and uh, the Surf Ranch. Well, it's not going to be easy. So much talent in the ranks. And one of the most talented surfers on the championship tour hitting the lineup now in Lakey Peterson, who is pressing her claim for a world title as well. Always improving. And she's up against Paige Arab, who was on the championship tour for a number of years, but in 2014 dropped off and has fought so hard on the qualifying series. I tell you, she's actually, you know, um, improved a lot, you know, through those that period of time. But it is going to be Lakey getting things started early. Caught behind here. She's going to eject, get out of that ride. But you're right, Paige Harrop. She looked sharp in the first round yesterday. Some real quality turns laid down in a losing heat. Super impressive. Let's see if she can do it again here in the second round. This is Paige Harrop on her first effort. Beautiful first turn, but she's going to get caught behind here. And that's going to work in Lakey's favour. And there's the adjustments, you know, that medium tide. When you take off a little bit deeper, it, it, the wave stays at a good pace that allows you to kind of rattle off maneuvers in that shallow bank. Whole event, no matter what the conditions are like, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. You kind of question things, and I'll do it when I'm actually on a wave, which is pretty bad. But um, no, I like my board. This one goes really good, so I'll use it from here on in. Uh, interesting fact: you were questioning it yesterday when you fell. Yeah, just right before my heat, I swapped back to a, a pair of fins that I used here um, last year. You're in danger if you're making decisions like that when you get to that, that third round of falling out of the mix. You know, so Steph has made the adjustment at the perfect time and scored well in round two. Right now, though, we've got Loki Peterson up. And she's chasing down Paige Harrop, who took the lead with her last ride. You can see that wave just had that little side winding rib moving through it so tricky to get a good finish on that one use this permit to allow us to have a few hours just to have it to ourselves so we can adjust equipment i mean it's going to help improve performance levels well here goes Paige now she had a 2.9 three and a last ride trying everything at those turns but at the moment just not able to find that link through to that next section raise the the prize money and the women had a say in how that was split that prize money from first place right down to those who are getting knocked out in the second round. And they opted to share some of that money for the surfers, more so than giving it to the winners, but share it amongst those surfers finishing in last position at each event, just so those battlers are getting that extra paycheck to fund their, their campaign, which is a really good thing. Just over 18 minutes to go, and no one's really sort of laid it down in this heat just yet. We've seen some decent turns, but no one's found their flow. You know, just finish off his amazing career on a, a huge high. He's been battling that injury for a long time now. He's had so many special moments here at the Quicksilver Pro. So not an easy decision for him, but hopefully he can recover and join us at some stage during, during 2018, during this Australian leg. Of the surfers on tour, as we watch Paige, and I love the Paige's adjustment for me is the quickness that she's coming out of her transition. She's much more quick out of those turns and uh, gives a little extra little flair to her turns and she's going to have to have that to, to compete at the top 17 level definitely New Zealand's longest serving member representative on the championship tour want to get rid of a 2.93 and flying down the line behind her is Lakey Peterson with a quality section to dig into here a couple of decent turns Lakey's in second spot, chasing a 3.64 to make the jump up into first. At the moment, Lakey Peterson making her way back out on her own steam. Let's have a look at the replay of that last ride. So again, having to pick up some speed to get around that first section. She does well to keep it up and then digs in. That's the type of surfing we've seen from Lakey Peterson here to get almost a, you know, she has one of the perfect scores on the Roxy Pro side. Some great Kiwi surfers on the men's side in the past. Ricardo Christie, Maz Quinn, as Lakey Peterson gets another opportunity on the outside. Quality Ooh. first turn, but that wave really just broke in half and didn't offer much down the line. Here goes Paige once again. Good looking section here. Oh, And the back foot slips off and she falls. So a lost opportunity to dump that 3.93 and get a good lead on Lakey. I could been, haven't been able to compete there yet. 
We're going to get to practice time. Lakey up at the moment, chasing down the lead. This would be a huge upset if she can't get out in front of Paige Harab. A better wave, just a, a pretty compact combination of manoeuvres. But it was, it was well executed. Well, only needs a 3.63, and uh, knowing that, she did sacrifice a little bit of the size of wave uh, just to find a good line. And, uh, you know, even Paige's best wave, a 4.87, not far from behind. As you can see there again, a little froth on the face, but digging into this maneuver there. And the judges will like that because that was a quality maneuver. And she linked it together with, uh, you know, three solid turns throughout this entire wave. It was a much smaller wave, though. Without priority, Lakey having a look at this one. Drives up into that first section. There's that torque that we were touching on for that wave. Nothing special. So she gets out of there. Back to live action now. And here is Paige just trying to get herself a high line into that next section. And just catches that outside rail and goes down. Perfect example of that transition being a lot more vertical. This is the, uh, the third head-to-head -head heat these two have had in the second round. And Lakey Peterson hasn't dropped the heat against Paige Harab, and it doesn't look like she's going to drop oh. one here because this is going to be the best wave of the heat already, and she's still working it over. Some big turns on the outside, a lot of variety, and feeling comfortable with that lead and that position of control, Pete, which you were talking oh, about. And just, uh, you know, and that's exactly when you have priority at the end of a heat and the lead and you get that choice you better make sure that it counts in, in performance level we saw the quality wave that Carissa Moore had yesterday with that barrel but of course she had to kind of exit the wave because of uh... but look at this just the, the the linkage of these maneuvers nice release out of that again digging in and every turn is just like you had mentioned before the torque just laid into these maneuvers like even the cutbacks you know and this wave stayed nice and steep gets again more release out of the turn on the final move, it kicks out with control. Just great stuff. I mean, again, just digging in. More about the transition, you know, the transitions being so important, which uh, showcases the power. Because, uh, you know, power is utilized too when you're carrying a ton of speed. But look at this, just the bottom turn, so important. The angle of approach is so important. But look at this, just twisting through it getting the release but look at that where her eyes went to the bottom of the wave to make sure that her nose did not dig in it sets up the pocket again just ripping into it so two beautiful turns and a third even see how the arm digs in and follows the head and the score is in Ronnie it's a big one, Pete. You were spot on. A nine for Lakey Peterson. Well out in front now, Paige Harab. She needs a 9.3 to turn this heat with less than a minute remaining. It is a long season, and we've seen surfers stumble before in this first event. She's going to get an opportunity here. She needs a 9.3. Reasonable start. This wave just doesn't look like it's going to cooperate with the Kiwi. And she'll need to bounce back down there at Bell's B. Paige Harab. Out of the event in the second round, Lakey Peterson building some real momentum as she makes the jump into round number three, dropping a nine-point ride and just enjoying a victory lap here through to the inside in front of a building crowd on Monday morning, having a lot of fun. You had the highlights from round one, getting through those surfers that wins those heats going to round three, but these two performances by Stephanie Gilmore and uh, Lakey Peterson, our showcase right there, a bounce back in a big way. So you'd have to say that these two surfers are going to be uh, vying for a title at the Roxy Pro.